starting to put together a little bit of a through line about in a lot of the stuff that you're saying. First of all, you're extremely resilient. Reading between the lines, like that you've been in a lot of different kinds of situations and there wasn't a lot of, oh God, maybe I'll run away and quit going on. You were adjusting and adapting to a lot of situations. And then also one of the core voices inside you uh, in somewhere in your committee of voices is one that's just like, girl, why not you? First of all, would you, would you agree? I think you've summed it up very well. I, I don't know if you always felt that way, but the feeling of like, if there's something out there, an opportunity that like, you know, yeah, that should be me. Like I should be out there yeah. doing the damn thing. It's not necessarily an ambitious thing of like, how do I move up, you know, in the writing hierarchy? It's more like, how do I be good at this? How, mm -hmm. you know, how do I vibrate at a higher level? But also like just speaking honestly about, you know, being in the, this industry, I think a lot of the environments have changed a lot, but I think what fueled a lot of it was, honestly like rage i you know just it's so easy to get shut down sometimes or be dismissed and i think you know some some people feel that more than others i think a lot of women feel that uh, people of color feel that uh, for me at least it was like this burning rage to feel like you know i you know let me show you the writer i could be um mm -hmm. Yeah. And some, and by the way, I say that like this big brave voice in me and like a lot of times I just fucking failed. Like I would, you know, like, sh you know, go for gold and be like, eh, well, that didn't turn out. But that doesn't usually get printed in the trades along with the announcement of your next whatever. And it's like, and then she also had 14 pitches that went mediocre to poorly. But that's true okay. for all of us. But I think like you, it never, I never really entertained the possibility that I was going to stop. Um, no. I didn't, it's not like I had a great fallback for one thing. <laughs> like what was I going to, you know? Um, but I kind of expected it to be really hard. And I also kind of, to your point about rage, you know, my rage might be a different flavor from yours, but I, I can really relate to that too. That feeling that like, there's nothing inherently fair about this situation. You know, writers have to be given chances to fail. Like, you know, it's a learning curve. You have to like try, you know, you're not going to hit every single one out of the park. But I really do feel like the perception towards a lot of women and a lot of minority writers is like, if they don't get it, um, it is, it is attributed to their otherness. Like she doesn't get it because she's a woman. She's never going to get this voice of this like hard ass, like, you know, SWAT agent. If she doesn't mm -hmm. get it because, you know, she's black or she's Latino, she just, you know, she, it, it's the, the gap is too far. We can't teach it to her. Whereas I've seen, you know, like a white, um, staff writer, you know, male or female, even mostly male be given like repeated opportunities, even though their first few attempts didn't quite click, you know, because that was yeah. just because they reminded the showrunner of like, that was me when I was like a young USC grad, you know, having moved up from the East Coast, um, you know, <laughs> so that they're willing to give them, you know, a few more opportunities and they see someone they can mentor. Whereas when they look at it, you know, somebody who's not like them, then it feels like they don't think that writer can grow or develop. I think what you're talking about is so pervasive. Um, and because it's unconscious in our culture, because we don't always know, that yeah. we're biased. I mean, that's why it's called unconscious bias. Those of us in positions of power need to actively overcompensate. And when there is someone new on staff who is anything but that guy you described, we have to think about setting people up for success. And we need to question our assumptions about their work.